Well, here we are back working with the JS 550s and as you can tell this one's starting to look a little bit polka dotted and that's a step before the final sandable primer and this one used to start becoming to look like this one and uh, there's some stuff that we need to fill in some little imperfections little low spots right here as you can tell where I sanded so now you can see where all the low spots are and as you can tell this area right here so on there's a little spot right here and some right here and right there but other than that you know we'll start laying down some of this body filler in there and basically sand it down and then spray some more sandable primer and uh, it'll look pretty neat basically a step closer to laying down some paint and uh, we'll have to sand down the primer and then paint but other than that let's get to mixing some of this hardener and some of this body filler using this 3m right here and some of this cream hardener and we still got to put some filler on these things there's some areas that need to be filled up and then the poles are hanging over here as you can tell these are the poles that are hanging so they'll need to be sanded down and uh sponsoons we'll have to get lightly filled up and brought back to the original looking glory but other than that let's go to time lapse start mixing patching this bad girl up let's go here it is guys this is all finalized and painted with sandable primer and coated so got the sponsoons all coated ready to go the hoods the poles everything is just ready to go so we have to do a final sand down with some 400 grit and get this thing ready for painting same as this hole turned out amazing just looks super good everything's just coming along it's nice and rough but some sanding should solve all that and while at it i went ahead and got the inside of here all painted up as you can tell, we went with white. So I went ahead and primered everything inside. And then I went ahead with some appliance epoxy paint, white. And that stuff's supposed to protect from gas and stuff like that. If it spills, it might discolor it, but it won't damage it. But everything looks pretty good. Got it all in there nice and clean so we did go ahead and seal all that right there all those corners with some plexus uh, resin stuff special stuff super expensive should be a lot better now since it's all sealed up but other than that got to remove all that tape and taped right here so that way it would look nice and clean We'll unwrap that later, but yeah, pretty much the hole and everything is ready to get painted, but that inside is ready to go, scuff it all up, and uh, I already bought some paint. I'll include a little video, 
uh, the paint mixing uh, shop mixed me up some metallic red paint and uh, hopefully we'll be throwing some um, flakes in there but yeah I'll give you a little glimpse of what it's gonna look like Stay tuned for some paint and uh, we should be ready to hit the paint booth soon. So let's go. Alrighty guys, so here it is. Nice and early, sunny, slightly windy. But here we have the skis already getting them prepped up. So basically we got the back sides, the bottom sides that need to get painted. Then we have these uh, pole brackets that need to get painted black. And the sponsoons over here, we got them hung right here. So they'll be black also. But right now we're cleaning everything up with wax and grease remover and he's going with the tack cloth right now. So that's pretty much in the final stages right before throwing some color. So I'm starting to mix some black color and uh, it's basically just regular cheapest black you can get nothing fancy and this is the paint gun we're using and uh, I believe it's a 1.5 tip but other than that we are ready to throw some color so we did sand it I didn't really record any of that but we went ahead and sanded everything down so it's nice and smooth got the pumps all covered up with tape same as that one over there and pretty much we are ready to cover with some nice beautiful color and we got clear ready and I gotta go find the flakes somewhere in the boxes here and should be go good to go let's go
Oh my, the sparkle just pops. Yeah, I know. Here are the pole holders. Just look at that. Look at that glitter. We just put some silver metallic sparkle, whatever you call them. And everything's just looking so fire. And same as this, just look at that. It's just popping. I'm super pumped how this all turned out. It just, it just came down so good. Everything's just perfect. Here's my brother's key. And it just went down good. Just enough metallics. We didn't just overdo it, I think. Just gave it a few pinches of metallic in the clear, in the first coat of clear. And uh, yeah, it's looking real good. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Same as on the sponsoons. Got them hung up like this, like a clothes hangers. And they turned out good. So they're gonna be pretty fire. Pretty much all done. Yep, there you have it guys. Super pumped how this all turned out. Um, just use regular cheap black uh, from a paint store. Um, there's no metallics in the paint, just basically a jet black or something like that. And the metallics, or the sparkle is what actually gives that pop so yeah i'm super pleased we gave two more coats after the first coat of clear so basically three coats of clear and uh looks pretty thick and nice so it closed up the gaps of all the other little spots and stuff and the sparkles actually hide a lot of uh imperfections and stuff like that that you might have in my opinion so but we were going with the sparkles or the metallics either way. So um, pretty pumped, it's, it's looking good. Doing the final sand on the tops of the hole. So basically finishing and blocking it all down, making sure everything's smooth, getting it ready for paint. As you can tell, the bottoms already have been painted. This one already has the sponsoons installed. But yeah, this thing's about done. Just look at that. Alrighty guys, so we are in the paint booth now and we are pretty much getting set up and everything is pretty much set where it's kind of going to be, but we're just trying to get a good idea where um, everything should be. So we got all our stuff, our tools, our paint guns, everything's in these boxes and we still got this engine transmission in here that we'll pull out uh, early Saturday morning when we're going to be painting. So that way they, it gets out of the way, it doesn't create more dust, but uh, we're doing some final prep and then we will spray some primer sealer in some areas where we kind of got through and you can see the body filler. So as you can tell, it's looking pretty good. This is the one with the painted hole on the interior side. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good and the bottoms are looking even better. As you can tell, it's nice and glossy. Check it out. So that looks real fire. But overall, pretty happy. So we're excited to work in this paint booth. And uh, yeah, so kick on the fan, continue sanding. And uh, yeah, let's go. Alrighty guys, mix some base coat. So 
tack cloth, everything, wax and grease remover, everything's done, ready to go. Uh, we already painted the exhaust manifold for one of the skis with Nighthawk Black. And uh, it's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but yeah. Everything else is set up pretty much like this. And uh, yeah, we'll throw it in time lapse and we'll go from there. And this is just a regular base coat that's really not the real color yet. So we'll ju we're just trying to lay it down and see how it goes.
Well guys, here we are. Paint booth is already pretty much empty. Got the poles still hanging up in here because we got nowhere to really hang them outside to let them cure in the sun. Since we don't have a heater inside the paint booth, check out this exhaust exit elbow. Dude, just looks fire. But everything turned out pretty good. And yeah, cleaning up the paint booth, getting ready to get out of here. So let's go check out the actual jet skis. Check out the ride plate and the West Coast intake grate. Hanging in front of a basketball hoop. Yeah, yeah. All right, now let's go and check out the jet skis. I uh, wish people can see this in person. Camera can't do the justice, but check out. The jet skis turned out super good. So we did the holographic flakes, 0 .008, and uh, red flakes also, Imperial Red. And it's amazing. Just looks super good. This one looks even better because it's just the white and everything just pops on it. So the hoods are just baking in the sun. Everything's turned out pretty good. I'm super proud of this. This looks amazing. And the other hood is just chilling right here. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It is finally done. I know I've been saying and showing all this prep work and stuff like that. But this is it. It is done. So check out my Instagram page and uh, follow us there. And uh, yeah, check it out, guys. Peace.